Today I want to show you DJI's new portable gimbal, Osmo 6. It's a gimbal that can be paired with your smartphone, comes with an app for connectivity and is aimed at the everyday user. It's basically designed to be as portable as it can but still maintain all the features of the ones previously and also some updated features. Um, the active tracking has been updated to 6.0 and you can also fold and unfold the gimbal um, and put that in your pocket so it's more portable. You also get a bracket that you can attach to your phone which can stay on your phone and it's magnetic at the back so it will just clip to the gimbal like that. Uh, obviously there's no phone, it's waiting for the weight of a phone but there is none so yeah and then when you're finished you can just clip it off and that is basically as easy as that. It has a little sign on the side which tells you which way to place the clamp so it's facing the camera that way the gimbal knows which way the phone is facing there's a white dot on the top of the clamp and there's also one on the top of the gimbal and you join the dots together like so and then it will register your phone so on the back of the gimbal you have a couple of buttons so you have the end button which just indicates the different modes and you can see the pin. So on the back of the gimbal So on the back of the gimbal you have a couple of buttons. Firstly you have the M button which changes modes to that is pan, just pan so when you turn the gimbal from left to right the camera will follow that is it isn't my legs so you have the end button which just indicates the different modes and you can see the pictures changing within the little display screen on the display screen also you have the battery indicator which will change colour depending on your battery status so if it obviously it's green at the moment which means it's fully charged but if it starts to go down below 60% it will go to a solid yellow and then obviously below 5% it will start to blink um, red which obviously shows that you're going to run out soon um, underneath that is um, the status system indicator so that shows you that what's connected and what's not it's yellow at the moment because the app is not open and therefore the bluetooth's not connected but once the app is open it will change to green to show that everything is okay and the phone is connected uh, to the app correctly and then you can control the phone through the gimbal underneath that is the joystick so obviously that turns your camera around uh, and underneath that is the camera orientation so it will basically rotate your phone if you press it twice and if you press it once it will rotate cameras so twice to rotate your phone and then once it'll rotate between the back and the front camera. On the side is your focus wheel and you basically join in, uh, sorry, you roll the wheel and that will focus in and On the side you have the rolling wheel which is your zoom wheel so you can zoom in without touching your phone and again zoom out. 
which is really handy and that's all controlled through the app on the front of the gimbal is the trigger the trigger is multi-functional so for one press it will activate the active track which will follow the subject if you press it twice it will recenter the phone sorry on the gimbal so if your phone is off center press it twice and it will recenter and if you press it three times And then if you press and hold, it will change the mode into fast mode. So when you move your gimbal around and obviously your phone, if your phone is in follow mode, it will move your gimbal, it will follow your gimbal movements. But if you put it into fast mode by pressing and holding the button, it then reacts much more quicker. So if you're in at any sports events or anything with animals where they move quickly, you can keep it in fast mode and once you take it off the finger you have to take your finger off the button it deactivates fast mode and goes back to normal mode Also, also the gimbal has an extension pole that's built in, so you can basically pull it out like that, and it becomes a selfie stick, uh, so you can get a proper view of yourself rather than a really close, um, close up, so you can hold it out and basically take a selfie video or a, a photo of yourself. Um, also, on the mode on the app you can switch to photo mode instead of video mode the trigger then takes on a different um different functions so far to take a photo you press it once and you can also enter um burst mode by keeping your finger on it so it'll take many more photos uh as in like sports photos and stuff like that but it does have to be in photo mode again you just toggle that on the app also you can do panoramic so when you do a panoramic obviously automatically i think of a video that goes across like you can on the phone the dji doesn't do that what it does is it starts off at one side and it takes multiple photos uh all the way around and basically joins them together it's pretty good i have used it i'm going to put an image in here now to show you what it looks like it's quite good but do remember it's not video mode it's in photo mode perfect scene and get everybody in place so to sum up the dji osmo 6 is a great gimbal and it's just something you can stick in your back pocket you 
control it through your phone with just with two items you can have pretty much a whole camera set up really easy for transport to put in your back pocket i think it's something that any content creator should have yeah, ben. and it's not too expensive so yeah i would go out and buy it yeah. thanks for watching leave a like and uh, subscribe please it does help me out a lot all right thank you see you on the next one